Hey man, what's good, gang? You already know what time it is. Your favorite checking back in with another video, man. It's really early in the morning. It's gloomy outside. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Real gloomy outside. Oh man. I'm finna go on ahead and do this workout. Which I don't feel like doing. I don't even think it's 7.30 yet. Oh, man. Early, 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 early. Nah, I just turned 7.30, look. Just turned 7.30, so. Yeah, we up early. So we're going to go ahead and do this gym workout. You know what I'm saying? Get ready for the day. I don't know what today will bring. I don't know. It'll be some... I don't know. It might be a little interesting. Day. I don't know. Today, Tuesday. Yeah, don't. I don't know, man. It don't be nothing to do on Tuesdays. Like, I don't know. I don't like Tuesday. Like, like Monday be fine. Like Tuesday, only day of the week I really don't like. Like even Wednesday be okay, but Tuesdays is something about Tuesdays. I just don't get it. But you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to this gym and work out, which I don't feel like doing. Hey, yeah, I ain't really ain't recording nothing in the gym. Like I told you, man, I need somebody to hold the camera and all that stuff while I do certain stuff. Cause I don't feel like doing all that extra stuff, man. Got a little, you know what I'm saying, a little sweat, a little workout. Like I really ain't feel like working out. Like I really hate working out, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? The, you gotta do stuff you don't wanna do to get to where you wanna go, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if I wanna be looking good, feeling healthy and all that stuff, that's what I'm gonna have to do, work out. But you know what I'm saying? Since workout done, Time to really get in the shower, take a shower, and really start. Well, I guess my day has been started already because I've been up since probably like 6.30 or whatever like that. But I'm going to go on ahead, get in the shower, get right. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's go have a productive day. Yeah. Fresh, took a shower, you know what I'm saying? Brush the teeth, got the hair right. Y'all seen me get the hair right, you know what I'm saying? Still, I don't know. Like, my stuff just gonna look crazy for a while, you know what I'm saying? I'm growing it out, you know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be looking crazy for a while. Oh well. It don't even matter about all that, but you know what I'm saying? Right now, we literally at the store. Oh uh, man, finna go get some. Um, I don't know. If this works better for me, I don't know about y'all. Like, instead of drinking Gatorade, start drinking, um, what's the name of it? Pedialyte. So I'm really finna run to the store to see if they got this Pedialyte uh, sports drink or whatever. Because I like how that make me feel better than Gatorade or what you call it. Like, and, you know, I started to like Powerade over Gatorade. and then, I'm, But I like the Pedialyte over both of them. But, you know, Pedialyte nasty, though. That's the thing with Pedialyte. Like, and all that sugar and all that stuff ain't in it. So it's still, like, it got sugar in it, I think. I don't know. But it still tastes nasty. I don't know. We finna go in this freaking Walmart and see if they got it. Cause I didn't feel like driving to Target. Walmart was closer, so makes sense. Golly, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's complaining about the heat in Atlanta. Well, the weather in Atlanta. Now nah, I ain't gonna be able to stand this high heat. It ain't number like 80. What it feel like night? Like, I don't know. Atlanta heat just different. Like, I don't know. Every I say this every summer. Like, if I can, I wanna spend my whole summer in Chicago, not in Atlanta. Like, cause Chicago would be just right. Like, and we too hot, too cold. We might have a week where it's too damn hot outside, but that's it, like a week. Atlanta is too damn hot outside from from May all the way to probably damn near the end of October type thing. Sometimes it starts even earlier. Sometimes it starts in April and be hot all the way to the end of October. So, yeah, Atlanta kind of different with that. Oh. Damn, drop my keys. And then I had the nerves to have them all black on. So, like... Black, 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 black. I don't know, but let's walk into the store and see if they get what I need and what I'm looking for. All right, so we in Walmart looking for the drink. Also, too, I don't know if y'all ever tried this stuff, but you know what I'm saying? Make your body feel a little better than using regular soap. Like that one, like. I went to the pharmacy side, and the pharmacy ain't on the pharmacy side. It's on the food side. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't find it. But I'm 
I'm lost in this though. I need to go ask somebody. Bro, they must have remodeled this Walmart. I don't know, but let me go find out where pharmacy at, because I'm really lost. Sure, I don't even see it, but I finally found it. Look for this. I ain't gonna lie, whatever flavor you get is nasty anyway to me, but I rock with this. But if you drink this, it's gonna be nasty, you know what I'm saying? But it make your body feel way better than drinking Gatorade or Powerade, you know what I'm saying? Even though I still like Powerade better than Gatorade. But this it though right here, you know what I'm saying? So this bottle right here probably was like $6, $7, whatever it was. But we finna grab this and we get up out of here. Hey, Walmart, man, y'all need to get y'all shit together, man. How y'all a billion dollar company? Y'all don't sell Apple Pay. Y'all don't sell none of no forms of payment but a card or cash. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to update y'all system or something. Like, McDonald's got a better system than y'all got. You know what I'm saying? McDonald's say any form of cash, you can pay off your phone, all types of stuff. You can't do that at Walmart. I think the only way you do that at Walmart, you got a, uh, a Walmart card, I believe. That's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a company I feel like. Don't y'all like money? So y'all should set up Apple paying all, all forms of payment. Y'all Walmart. Now I got the money. I got the money to make this happen. Make it happen. I'm trying to end up paying with my phone. And I forget that they don't do that. Like I think Target. Target do it, but Walmart don't. Like Walmart, y'all need to get y'all shit together. Cause it's a shame. It's 2023. Y'all still don't set up Apple Pay. Like, that don't make no sense whatsoever. But anyway, get what I want. I'm finna hurry up and get up from over here. And what else I gotta do? I got to run back to the crib, edit the video. Once I edit the video, upload the video, so I have a new video of me to watch. You know what I'm saying? Get to see this face, y'all favorite. You know what I'm saying? All the time. You know what I'm saying? But. I ain't no cash on me. Yeah, I don't mind having people ever had cash on me. I don't have no cash on me, so. Yeah, she asked for help. She couldn't speak English. She had a sign. This, and I don't get what people be doing this type of stuff. Like, where do y'all get this? Like, if y'all homeless, poor, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and you don't speak English, but your sign is in English. So who wrote the sign in English if don't none of y'all speak? I don't know, man. The weird stuff you see outside. But anyway, let me get off of this, and I'll check back in with y'all. All right, gang, man, we back, man. Um, I pretty much decided, like, because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. People going to ask me this, but you know what I'm saying? I probably I want to give y'all information, like, to all the people that's DJing or just, just wondering, like, how do you become a strip club DJ? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's plenty of ways, plenty, you know what I'm saying? In the year 2023, a lot of y'all probably, like, I don't know, strip clubs big in y'all city or not, but, like, when you in the South, strip clubs big in general, like, especially in Atlanta, because I'm in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's strip clubs everywhere, I ain't gonna lie to you, man, like, it's strip clubs everywhere, um, like, I think much kind of like the same way, like, Dallas and Houston, I think they got a decent amount of strip clubs, like, in the South general, like, you gonna always find strip clubs, in the South in general, North, or North kind of like, trying to get that type thing, but I don't think it's like, how it is in the South, so, yeah, so, and then also, too, is like, with becoming a strip club DJ has different rules and stuff like that. So, like, first thing first, uh, I, I should tell y'all about, at least in the city of Atlanta. I can't talk about any other city because I ain't DJing in, uh, well, Chicago. But, like, Chicago, you don't need one of these. But most important, when you get hired at any of these clubs, like, first thing first, like, be a, I want y'all to be aware of this. It's just not like you get hired, you just start DJing type thing, like. A lot of these clubs, especially in the city of Atlanta, requires a permit. Now, in order to get a permit, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, once you get hired at a job, they give you the information to go get the permit. Normally, you go to the police station, fill out the application, tell them what you are. You, if you are a DJ, a uh, dancer, or whatever the case, because dancers have to get one, too, and it's different from each, um, 
I would say like county or city that's in the Atlanta area. I, I, can't, I don't know how to explain it. Cause like the actual city of Atlanta, like if you think about the city of Atlanta, the city of Atlanta has strip clubs like uh, Magic City. Uh, what else could be considered Atlanta? Uh, Cheetahs, um, Platinum, Diamonds. Uh, like, cause the city of Atlanta pretty much had like the most strip clubs in it. And then you got the strip clubs that's in like different cities and stuff like that. Like KOD, Blue Flame. Oh, is Blue Flame considered Atlanta? I'm not for sure. Like Pin Up, Strokers and stuff like that. Like they're not, they're in different cities and different counties too. So they have different prices or whatever like that. So you have to pay for a permit and pretty much you get a permit. As long as you don't have no felonies on your background, you all good. So in the city of Atlanta, and you're trying to be a strip club DJ, you're not having any felonies on your record. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to happen. Now you can get in there and probably DJ here and there. But you know what I'm saying? To be like a, a, a actual employee, a resident DJ at this spot that you DJ here every Monday or you DJ every Friday, Saturday, stuff like that, you need a permit, hands down, you know what I'm saying? If not, you don't have a permit, they're going to have to have a DJ in there with you, with the permit, in order for you to DJ, because at least a DJ is in there with the permit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, until you get yours or how the case works. But, you know what I'm saying, with all that being said, now I'm going to get into how to really become a DJ in today's, in 2023, you know what I'm saying? So the first thing first, like, in the city of Atlanta, because that's like I said once again, that's the city I'm in. So in the city of Atlanta, First thing first, like, there's two ways I feel like you can get into a club, you know what I'm saying? First way, take your time out to go to each each individual club or whatever club you want to work at and just ask them are they hiring for DJs, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, some might say no, some might say yes, and then the ones that say yes, they will make you audition, you know what I'm saying? So, this is for my people that have been, like, just prepared, pretty much, I can't say. Like, you know, you got pretty much the DJ skills down pat, like, right? For the most part, because they're gonna make you, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. They're gonna make you audition. You know what I'm saying? Because they gotta see, see what you can do. You know what I'm saying? How your music is, do you play good music, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? How you is on the mic, all that type of stuff. So, some gonna audition you. So, that's the first way you can easily get into a strip club. Just go to each individual club and talk to the manager or whatever, talk to whatever managed team, whatever to every, whatever club you go to, whatever, talk to them and then discuss, like, how can I become, a, uh, I wanna become a DJ there and see if they hiring, if they hiring, lucky you. Cause I can tell you now, in Atlanta, it's, it's, it's not that simple, you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of times we go to these clubs, a lot of these clubs have DJs that have been in there for years and they're not, you know what I'm saying? These clubs are not letting these DJs go. They're going to be there for years. They're going to be there probably until they die type thing. So you got to think about those DJs got their spots solidified. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to find a ways around to get into the club. You know what I'm saying? So first thing first, just ask. That's the simplest, easiest way you can do in order to become a uh, DJ at a strip club. So the easiest thing to do, just go simply go to the club and just ask for a job. You know what I'm saying? See if they hire and stuff like that. Now the second step. Um, second step, what you can do really pretty much is going to the club. Once you go into the club and say the club say they're not hiring, or well, say you went to four or five different clubs, you're not hiring because that would happen, especially in Atlanta. Other cities might be doing the same thing. Like I say, for the most part, like when I was in Chicago, it's pretty much like if you know the promote, they ran it like it was like an actual club. So most clubs, the promoter bring their DJ type thing. You know what I'm saying? Some clubs might have a DJ hired there or whatever like that, but a lot of times promoter will bring their DJ to the club and the promoter will pay that DJ. Strip club a little different because the club pays the DJ and the girls pay the DJs as well. So I get into that too as well as far as payments and stuff like that. But the second way in order to get into the strip club, I would say is to simply network. If the club tell you no, they're not hiring, um, continue to show your face. If it's a club you really want to be at and really want to DJ at, continue to show your face. Continue to uh, show your face. Uh, network with the other DJs, you know what I'm saying? Be cool with the other DJs. A lot of times, you know what I'm saying, most people like, um, like me, I ain't that type of person, but like a lot of these people, a lot of these DJs and stuff like that, not to be sounding bad, throw shade, but like, sometimes they feel threatened because they feel like you're going to take their spot and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, just get, you know what I'm saying? Be cool and straight up with the DJ. Like, Dad, I want to be in this club, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? They might look at you at first, but then you got to constantly show your face. Like, be consistent. Constantly go to that club. Constantly talk to the DJ. Hey, if the DJ got other gigs, go to the, you know what I'm saying, other gigs with the DJ and stuff. Like, build a relationship with the DJ. Also, build a relationship with the management team, too. 
Because every time you go in there, make sure you say hi, speak to them, you know what I'm saying? Even sometimes, like, offer them, buy them a drink every now and then, stuff like, little stuff like that. So, like, little stuff like that go a long way. So, you do that. The reason why you do that and you network is because when that position finally do open, you got the you got a step ahead of strangers that's trying to come in and DJ. So you when you got steps ahead, you good because they were like, oh, it's such and such already. He be here all the time. He blah, you showing interest pretty much. So they gonna look at you and be like, man, we got a DJ spot. Let's put him in. Let's get him the position first because you know what I'm saying. We see him all the time. We comfortable. We already know what he can do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So put that in my networking is the second way to become a, a DJ, pretty much a strip club DJ. So networking and actually talking to the people, see if you get hired. There's two ways you really become a strip club DJ in Atlanta for the most part. And I'm pretty sure this method will work in any type of club situation or it work in any city as well too. Because pretty much like i don't know like if texas or louisiana or florida you gotta have permits and stuff like that if you do always be aware of that you know what i'm saying because like i said i already speak on the permit part because when you get hired that's the first thing you first you got to do after you get hired you got to get the permit you know what i'm saying or in order to work that type of stuff so please do not have any felonies on your account at all so swipe that off you know what i'm saying no felonies on your account okay so now we got that situation. You know what I'm saying? Once you got hired, you get your permit. Now you working. Now, as a strip club DJ, when you work, you gotta realize that you're you're the life of the party. You have to do everything in there. It's something I had to learn. Like I wasn't talking on the mic at first. You know what I'm saying? I was just straight out DJing. But talking on the mic is pretty much how you're gonna get your money. You know what I'm saying? Cause most generally in most strip clubs, that my hands I actually like that. I need to put lotion. That was random. But in generally in most strip clubs, like of course, you're going to get paid from the club. You know what I'm saying? So, the club going to pay you. Club pay you probably like, most clubs you give you like $10 a girl. So, every girl to come in, you get $10 pretty much. So, you got 40 girls, that's $400. You got 30 girls, $300. You got 60 girls, that's six. You know what I'm saying? $600. So, pretty much you get $10 off of each girl that comes into the club. So, all right, cool. That's fine. You got that. And then also, too, um, is it's a million other ways to get money now most clubs when you dj at least like i'm talking in, in, in georgia in the city of atlanta and stuff like that most of the time when girls uh when you dj in that strip club girls are have to tip you you know what i'm saying so you get tips from the girl too but also your tips you know what i'm saying vary what's what you have to realize is you can make a girl can get you tip you ten dollars you know what I'm saying, which is fine, you know what I'm saying, because you got 50 girls and each all the 50 girls give you $10, that's $500, you know what I'm saying, because $10 pretty much is like the bare minimum, most dancers tip a DJ, but once you start building a rapport with the dancers and stuff, like helping them out, they helping you out type thing, like putting them in the direction where money is at, or playing certain songs you know they like when they on stage and stuff like that, that go a long way, as long as you helping them get money, you... You know what I'm saying? You should receive that in return. So, but what I mean by that is, say, like, I have a dancer, she on stage, I play her favorite songs, I say the right things on the mic, they get to throw pouring money on it and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Then, on the back end, like, instead of getting that $10, you might get $50, $60, $100. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how much she make. You know what I'm saying? She make good money, you should get a good tip about her. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the way of also, like, you getting money in the strip club. Also, as well, too, like, you set your price on this as far as, like, when you get people to ask for song requests and you get artists to ask to play for their songs, you know what I'm saying? You can manage that way however you want to do. i seen DJ charge, like, an artist to play a song. Like, I've seen DJs charge anywhere from $50 to $100 type thing, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's up to you, up to your discretion. This is the way you're going to make money. So, you have to think about that and realize, like, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Like what you gonna charge them and then also too it ain't any it ain't necessarily about the money sometimes especially when it comes to these artists and stuff like that but when you do work in a strip club you have regular customers so some of these artists are also regular customers too they might pay that 100 the first time but you're not really gonna charge them 100 every time they come into the club you know what i'm saying like you got to know your your regulars you know what i'm saying like even like if they don't come in there and like tip you up like certain regulars got songs and you know if you play these songs they're gonna go crazy they're gonna throw money like for example the club i'm at is certain regulars in there that's like uh wife and lucci so i'll put on a set just for wife and lucci 
and they would go crazy on them. I got another customer that like like Chris Brown songs. So I got a mix I put together for him, all Chris Brown songs or whatever, and he go crazy to that, you know what I'm saying? So you have to know your customers, like, you know what I'm saying? Like know your customers, know your surroundings, know your girls, you know what I'm saying? Build a rapport with your girls, your customers, everything, you know what I'm saying? Cause you're the DJ, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're the star of the strip club for the most part. Like the girls are the star, but you are the star well, cause you you really controlling everything in the club, you know what I'm saying? You you make you hyping the girls up, you're hyping the crowd up, you're talking on the mic, you're making announcements, you're doing this, you're doing that. Like you're pretty much the director of the strip club, you know what I'm saying? You pretty much tell everything what's going on. And even little stuff that you might not know about, you're gonna be a therapist too. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're gonna get girls that come in the DJ booth who wanna talk, all this other stuff, talk about their life. So it's a, so it's like in a strip club, to make it just sound a little better, it's like you're the barber, pretty much. You know how the barber always got advice of where you can get this from or this, that, that, always giving advice and stuff like that. That's pretty much how like the DJ operates in a strip club. But, dang, I, I lost train of thought. But overall, it's like you really wanna get in the strip club stuff, you know what I'm saying? Be focused, be consistent, you know what I'm saying? That's it, that's all. Like with anything in life, you gotta be focused, you gotta be consistent, you gotta be dedicated to what you're trying to do. So that's that's important, you know what I'm saying? Don't think once you get in here, like the like you're gonna be around naked girl, you're gonna be around beautiful women, but don't let that distract you from the gold, don't let that distract you from your money, you know what I'm saying? Like seriously, like be smart about it when you be in a strip club, you know what I'm saying? Like it's cool, yeah, you might get girls on you, dance on you, the girls might like you, stuff like that. That's cool, but also that could take away from your money as well, you know what I'm saying? Cause you dealing, you working with a bunch of women. Women are very competitive anyway, so like keep that in mind, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't really want to talk about it like that on YouTube, but you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean, man. You can get in trouble like that in the strip club. So be mindful, you know what I'm saying? And re be respectful, man. Have your head on straight in the strip club, because I'm not going to lie. When you come to strip club, DJ, if you you can get lost in this life. I ain't going to lie. You can get lost easily in this life, because the, the girls, the women, you got money around you, liquor, drugs, all types of stuff. So it's like, have your head on straight, most importantly, in my eyes, like... You know what I'm saying? Remain focused. Like, don't let all this other stuff distract you or whatever like that. Cause it is a, um, it's a, it's a fast-paced environment. You already know a lot of people ain't built to really be strip club DJ. Cause you gotta do so much compared to the club scene. Club scene. That's where I came from. Like, you know what I'm saying the club scene. So that's why at first I ain't understand like talking on the mic like that. Cause even in the clubs in Chicago, we normally had hosts. You know what I'm saying? So that's the skill I had to develop. Like, I got the DJ skills. I had to just develop. My talking on the mic skills. And even then, you know what I'm, I'm still trying to develop, get better with the mic, you know what I'm saying, every day. So it's like, that's one major thing. That mic is going to get you a lot of money. It might get you in trouble too. So be aware of what you're doing and saying on the mic as well, you know what I'm saying? Because also, it's like certain things you just got to deal with in a strip club that most people don't even think about, you know what I'm saying? As far as like, like gang culture and stuff like that, certain people come in the club, you can't play this song, can't play that song. It's like all types of stuff that go on. But, you know what I'm saying, I hope this video helps y'all become a strip club DJ. If y'all was looking to doing it, I hope this video helped y'all get y'all a little bit of idea. If you got any more questions or anything you want to ask me about strip clubs or anything like that, DJing, you know what I'm saying, just hit me in the comment box below, you know what I'm saying, leave a comment, you know what I'm saying. Also, if you new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You might as well, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get lit DJ content, you know what I'm saying. Like I told, once I said this once before, I'm not teaching people how to DJ on it. Like, I'm just pretty much showing my lifestyle as a DJ, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much what I'm gonna show on this channel for the most part, you know what I'm saying? We gonna grow, we gonna expand, we gonna get to other things, but you know what I'm saying? I just really wanna show the intel life of a DJ, you know what I'm saying? There's like, there's other channels that you can go learn how to DJ, the technical part, all that aspect, breaking them down with the controllers and all this other type of stuff. Here, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show y'all the parties. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna show y'all us in the club, we outside type stuff. So that's what we're gonna. That's what I'm bringing on to this channel. If you're new to my channel, so but I'm finna go on and end this video. I've talked y'all ass off enough. I hope some of y'all become strip club DJs. Some of my DJs out there, you watching this, man, just become one. You gonna you gonna have fun. That's one thing I can't say. You gonna have fun in the strip club. <laughs> I feel like strip club is way more better than the uh, regular club. But you got more range to play music, more range to do this, more do that. But you know what I'm saying? Your favorite DJ checking out. All right, gang. Till next time, man. Two fingers up. Two ashy fingers up. Ash, ash, ash. But anyway, two fingers up. I'm out. I'm gone.